Hey guys, it's Leslie from Sweet Olive Farms. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate your own lavender from lavender that you already have in your garden. Um, all you need is about a two inch clipping. You don't want it to be much longer than that and you don't want it to be much shorter than that. So I think that two inches is about perfect for the kind of cutting that you need to propagate your own lavender. So what I have here is our soil and I was just wetting it down because it takes a little while for the new potting soil to soak up enough water. Um, and you'll see as you pour it, it goes straight through and down. So you need something underneath this. Usually these come with um, a box kind of like that one and then a lid to go over it. So if you don't have something like that, um, milk cartons work great. There are lots of different DIY containers that you can make a little what we're trying to do is make our own um, greenhouse like an indoor greenhouse for our little propagations because they're tender and they need all the help they can get so soak your soil first off that's what you want to do get it nice and moist and then what we're going to do is take our lavender cutting and we're going to strip off all the, the leaves from about an inch down. Just pull them off until you have about an inch of bare stem. And then we're going to take our rooting hormone that I have in this cup and just dip it in there. Make sure you get it all over and then tap it off. And then stick it down in, in your prepared soil. Now this is soil isn't anything special, it's just potting soil. Um, and this rooting powder, you can buy any brand, all of them work really well. Um, I just happen to have this one on hand from Botone, Bontone. Um, I've used different kinds of rooting uh, naturally and and also just this powder and I prefer the powder uh, it's an easier way to go you do want to put it in a separate container when you're rooting and not just put your plant in the bottle so you don't transfer any viruses into your powder that you're gonna use this can last for a while this one's about three years old so um, I've tried a lot of different natural um, propagation methods and they all work they all seem to work um, but I prefer to go with the powder it seems to get better results healthier plants um, the other one that I would suggest is the vinegar propagation if you are going natural the vinegar propagation did work but you have to be really careful because it's so acidic you have to water it down so much um, so that the plant doesn't die so it's a tricky one, but it is possible. We've also tried the cinnamon and the willow bark, and you know, I didn't get great results from the cinnamon one, but the willow bark does work. So feel free to try any method of natural propagation. This one's just the easiest for our farm and the way that we go about getting our, our propagations. So I'm gonna continue. I've got a few um, little lavenders here that I've already stripped gonna dip them in our rooting hormone tap them off and just plug them in they're gonna be little lavender plugs it's literally what we're causing this is what when you go to buy little lavenders in bulk they call them lavender plugs so that you can look it up that way so I'm just gonna continue to get these down stick them down as far as you can into the, the soil um, and you don't want to leave very many leaves at the top you want all of that energy to go towards rooting to growing those roots so you don't want you don't want to be bare up here but any big leaves that you have you want the, the plant to have energy to start their roots so So that the energy goes into just making those roots. 
I'm gonna continue here. I've got 10 little plugs that we're gonna make. This is from our phenomenal lavender plant, which can get pricey, so of course I want to propagate my own because I can't spend $10 per plant for phenomenal lavender, and it is a great lavender, so I wanna have it all over my yard, all over my farm, and this is the way I do it to be cost effective on our farm. So if you have any questions, oh, before, so once you get to this step, you want to put your dome over it, whatever you have, your milk carton, or, you know, I've seen people do it in those, um, those chicken, rotisserie chicken um, packaging things. Those work great. Whatever you have, or you can buy this. This is Jiffy brand. So it comes with the, the tray and the under tray and then the dome. And that works really well. It, it keeps enough water in there to, to really keep your plants moist, which you need when you're rooting them. Anyway, I'm gonna continue doing our lavender plugs and I'll show you the results in a few weeks and see if we have little rootlings on our phenomenal lavender. By the way, it is November and I'm still <laughs> doing plugs because our lavender is doing great. We have had a really warm season, so luckily I've been able to to keep doing our um, our propagation into November. So it's just a, a good year. Anyway, we'll show you the results in a few weeks and we'll see you then. Thanks guys, bye.